Sergeant. It's his stuff, sir. His trousers. He must be bloody small. He's changed his clothes. Yes, he's obviously pretty smart. He could be disguised as anything now. Bring this. We'll go and see the Colonel. Come on. Well, gentlemen, we knew when you were coming, we knew where you were coming. But we don't know why. We're a bridge team. We came to play bridge. And the third man, he was the first reserve? If either of us catches cold, he can sit in. You have both caught cold. Ah, but he's a very good player. He can play both our hands. Now, Shell, once again, why are you here? To serve our country. You gain nothing for Germany by dying against a wall in England? Shot through like a bundle of rags? As an example to other German visitors? Only by living will we be a bad example. You know, Ma, we play a very special kind of game here. Ten men on one side, and one man on the other. Not very sporting. It's called the wall game, and as you say, it's not very sporting. Yep, right. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Party, halt! Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you wish to smoke? away with my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sins, for I acknowledge my faults and my sins ever before me. Behold, I was shapen in wickedness, and in sin that my mother conceived me. Maya, only your tongue will save you from that wall tomorrow morning. Mean, sir, all rifles loaded with blanks, Colonel Foreman, sir? That's right, Sergeant. And nobody out there must know it. Not even the officer in charge. Only you and I. 
Not even the parson, sir. The parson will read from his little black book as usual. Do you understand? Sir! Carry on, Sergeant. Good night. to the right, right in Klein. Front rank, kneel. Party, load. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. After your great goodness, according to the multitude of thy mercies, do away my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, Cleanse me from my sins. Aim! It's a woman! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Order! Hubs! Here. Yeah. What is your mission? To kill Kitchener. Murder Field Marshal Kitchener. Escort! It was too early in the morning to die. I'd make her eyebrows a little thicker. There's a girl I'd certainly like to meet. Her one distinguishing feature is that she has bright red hair. Marshal Kitchener. I've answered that. I don't know. Maya. Every rifle in that firing party was loaded with a blank cartridge. You've been a fool and a victim. You betrayed your country only at the hint of death. I know the British Articles of War, Colonel. You had no authority to execute a spy without a trial in a civil court. As you say, in a civil court. Say goodbye to your friend. You'll be sent to London for trial. Shell, I regret that trick I had to play on you. I admire your courage. You're a brave man. You put your soul before your body. And you, sir, are intelligence without soul. I despise you both. <laughs> what do you want now? A revolver with one bullet? Heaven forbid, Colonel. I'm a... I'm just a very poor man. Ah, I see. Hm. Let's begin again, shall we? This plot to kill Kitchener. How's it to be done? With a rifle? With a bomb? In the streets? Or at the dock gates at Scarpa Flow? All alone, darling.
Will you have many callers? Men? I don't suppose so. Number seven. And no sailors. I'm not washing sheets for any sailors. The watchmaker down the road, when does he open? I have a good clock. I've never had need of him. Like it? It's coming tomorrow. Hallo, hallo, hier in Berlin. Still nothing from the watchmaker. Colonel Mathesius, Aberdeen, through Hamburg. Agents Meyer, Shell, arrested. Doctor, no report. Shell, executed. Meyer, broken. Enter. Keep calling the watchmaker. The submarine is now in the greatest danger. Cancel the operation. General Metzler, if you allow Lord Kitchener to reach Russia to revamp the broken armies of the Tsar, Germany will again be engulfed from the east. Already the Bolshevik leader known as Lenin is creating storms, mutinies. He will attempt revolution. How can the assassination of Kitchener succeed now? Because I've given the Kitchener operation to the best agent I've ever had. An unbelievable actress. Actress? Sir, you sent a woman to Scarpa Flow. Why not a woman? She has imagination, precision, courage beyond any man on any battlefield. She has only two weaknesses. Traces of pity and grains of morphine. You trust a morphine addict? She is not yet dominated by her morphine. Who is this woman? She gave you your poison gas. She gave me the way to kill Kitchener. What are you showing us? Dead bodies with the same weight and thrust in water as the new floating mine. Only seven miles outside Scuppa Flow. The most dangerous waters in the world. She took them from hospital morgues. At least here in the open grave of the sea, they had a chance to serve their country. The English press seized on the story as she said it would. They told us when and where the mysterious roped bodies were recovered. They front-paged it for days. Mutiny and murder in the German Navy. Enough. Now we can calculate the currents. Now all we need is the hour, the day and the ship on which Kitchener sails. I'm certain your Fraulein doctor will give you ship, day and hour. If Maya has described her, the chances are that Fräulein Doctor will be arrested at Scapa Flow. But Maya doesn't know about the watchmaker.
good for the hump shepherd. See you fast then. Tom. <sighs> What's the matter with you, darling? I'm waiting for me fella. He's with Kitchener. Oh, you'll never see him. He's on the Hampshire. She'd close tight as a clam. Ooh, Laundry for the Hampshire, mate. First batch. Of her hair, we know the color of her eyes, and the fact that she has a small foot. We'll contact the local police. Right. Oh, another miracle, eh? Well, I must say, somebody's been having himself a good time. Brand new, went the first time on. Two weeks. Hey, can't you do it any quicker? This fella's on the Hampshire and it sails next week, don't it? Listen, lass, I'm no magician. All these sailors, they want their laundry back the same day they bring it. Hey, I'll help you, lass. We're around the corner. Just a minute. What's your room? <coughs> Never mind about that. And what's that to you? Are you the police? Yes. Hey! Give me three shillings. Never mind about that. What's your name? Hey, don't do that. Let's talk first. I'll talk better when I've got peace of mind. The fellow might catch you. Won't he? Won't. Hey, leave off. I'll do that. You tell me Don't again. worry. You see this? A green summer dress. Funny. Just got lost in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, lass. Oh. <laughs> oh. You are nice. Want to land me? Want to see him? Perfect circulation of the blood. Hey, you don't think I'm fast and loose? Me? It's me that's supposed to be fast. No! Oh! Get the Colonel. Tell him the shoe fits. Well, I never... I can't help thinking about him. Yeah, well, you think what you like, but don't speak. Oh, oh anyway, serve him right for building me one. <laughs> Whoa, there! The dress of a duchess and housemaid's bag. Complicated lady. Madam, I want you to tell me everything this woman said from the moment she entered this house. She said her, her watch needed repair. She asked if the watchmaker down the street was open. <laughs> oh, you're a caution for sure. See you tonight, then. Late like. Half ten. I'm seeing him tonight. You're not. I've got news for you, darling. You're seeing me. Go on, you're teasing me. Haven't I been carrying dirty laundry off the Hampshire and clean laundry on the Hampshire for the last three days? Haven't I? My last van load's at four o'clock. So what? I use this nap, don't I? She's sailing on the seven o'clock tide tonight. You know they got on board, don't you? They're all saying the king. Well, he's bigger than any king. He's Kitchener. Go on. You're not upset, are you? A fellow that belts you, I'd give him his walking papers. Are you sure it's sailing tonight? Sure, I'm sure. Us laundry men know more than coast guards. <laughs> Cut him down. Gentlemen, this is a matter of the gravest emergency. I want this woman apprehended as quickly as possible. She's wearing a black skirt, black shoes, pale pink blouse. She's wearing a black skirt, black shoes and a pale pink blouse.
That's her signal. Pick her up. Welcome back to Germany, Fräulein Doctor. The Hampshire, seven o'clock tide. Kitchener will be aboard. Lord Kitchener, please reconsider your decision. Kindly remove that miserable expression from your face. Please postpone the trip, sir. We are expecting a heavy gale tonight. And foreman of intelligence has some very disturbing news. We're expecting an attempt on your life in Scupper Flow. Submerge in the approaches to the East Channel. At 1955, we launched the first string of mines, then six more strings at two minute intervals. The Hampshire will come into that area between 20:35 and 21 hours. Same signal, Captain Webster. Mine sweepers to Admiralty. The East Channel is cleared of mines. Odd. A routine communication three times repeated. Repeat it for our benefit. The Hampshire will not be in the East Channel. The only ships that use the West Channel are ferries to the island. Shallows are very tricky. What's our position now? We must stay with our original plan. And launch our mines on empty waters, no. The Hampshire will not come to us. We must go to the Hampshire. The sea's becoming rough. We'd have to trust to the devil to get round in time. We only have four hours leeway. Do it, Captain. Trust to the devil. The Hampshire will be in the West Channel. Maximum speed, course 285. I wish he wasn't sailing in her, Colonel. He would not listen to my advice. He said he would not be intimidated by one lone woman. There's nothing more we can do, gentlemen. So come on. Target speed 20 knots, sea rising rapidly, wind force 7. I have to observe the target. Down 30 feet. They must be meeting now.
I refuse to believe it. Explosion in the boiler room, unexpected storm at sea, anything to excuse a national disaster. I accept none of it. When that ship went down, 700 men were killed. But one man was assassinated. Kitchener was my responsibility. Is my responsibility. And yours too, Ma, because you talked too late. An hour earlier, and you might have saved him, but you talked too late. Now you're going to tell me everything you know about her. How she sits, how she walks, her strengths, her weaknesses, everything. And that morphine capsule, what does that mean? Morphine? What morphine? I know nothing about And that morphine. description you gave to me of her, was it accurate? Find out. Then you bloody well lied! Look, Colonel, you have two alternatives. Either hang me or pay me. Gold. I'll tell you anything you want to know. I intend to follow that woman and find her, even though it takes me the rest of the war. So if it has to be money, you'll be paid. But don't you forget, Ma, your betrayal put your life in my hands. So let's talk. Excuse me, Colonel. You don't happen to have a cigar by any chance, do you? <clears throat> Thank you. How kind. You know she gave the Germans the new French poison gas. What? You mean she was that maid in Dr. Safari's house? Yes. In experiment 17, the rats survived three minutes, but the dogs went down in five. I am now continuing the experiment with a new chemical combination of the same ingredients. You may come in, Jeanette. That will be all for the moment, Mathilde. Good morning, madame. On your apron, Jeanette. Excuse me, madame. Please get another one. Certainly. Oh, Jeanette, what are you doing? Oh, I, I'm just dusting, madame. What a lovely fire. Oh, I'm so exhausted, Jeanette. Would you mind? Oh, of course. Please. This is marvelous. Hmm. Tell me, has anyone ever brushed your hair? No, madame. Then let me do it. No, madame. Yes. When? 
When did you first? When I was 16, madame. I can't believe it's really mine. But it is yours. Why are you so sweet to me? Because I like you. Pardon me? Certainly. We'll be friends, true friends. I'm sorry, I didn't want to awaken you. Sleep a little here. Why do you do such awful work? Do you want the Germans to be masters of Paris, my dear? How did you begin? I used to make perfumes, among other things, before the war. Perfumes are much nicer than gas. But you're too innocent. You don't understand. I'm protecting France. Let me show you what I do. Then you will understand. You can begin now. Now the gas. Add the new ingredient, 100 cc's. Look, that rat staggered in 43 seconds. They're finished. The dogs are dancing in 47 seconds. I've succeeded. The gas will burn the skin and no mask will keep it out.
Jeanette! <laughs> what is it? Calm down, please. What are you doing? Have you finished your formula? Yes. Oh, I see. I was wrong. It was wrong for me to let you see it. Please no. forgive me. No, I want to see everything you do, but it's so horrible. But, Jeanette, don't you understand? It is three years of work. Please understand. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you go back to sleep now? I still have work to do. I'll be back. So the formula arrived in Germany, a gas so vicious that neither side has dared to use it. Yet. Maya, you are going to find the Fräulein Doctor and kill her. Kill her? The Theseus would never believe that I escaped from here. That problem you may leave to me. More chloroform. The bullet has passed through. No, Doctor, wait, please. No medication. Brutality is not part of my practice of medicine, sir. You touch that wound, you condemn him to certain death. You were never captured, my friend. You escaped on the beach, but they wounded you, so you couldn't complete your mission. Lieutenant Roma, the fatherland is proud, and I, sir, am honored. Sergeant, we are grateful. This will show you what your father was. This woman? I think protocol insists that you do, sir. I have to admit, Fraulein, that your bravery deserves this recognition. But Lord Kitchener was my friend. I do not rejoice in his death and cannot offer you congratulations. Chivalry forbids it. And why have you sent for me again, may I ask? To be given your first lesson in murder. Hmm. If you were in German intelligence, Colonel, then worry about your sanity. Hmm. I'm glad your wit is returned. You'll need it. Morphine, a drug prescribed by some irresponsible doctors as a painkiller. It only puts the patient to sleep. But I, being a responsible doctor, I invented a formula, which when taken in liquid form... By a morphine addict, puts the patient to sleep forever. <laughs> 
It works very well in champagne. Maya? Hmm? Oh. What will happen to me? Your heartbeat will be reduced, but it won't stop. Come on, man, drink it. You must know what will happen to you. Mm. Oh, yes, it's a French. Try it. Good health. Now, if you had morphine in your system, you'd be dead in a matter of hours. Very worrying. Your only worry is to get the Fräulein doctor and this poison together. Remarkable escape, Maya. Tell me again when you got your wound. Excuse me, sir. I, I prefer not to talk about it. The memory is too painful for me. Ah, quel courage, mon brave. And Shell? He died bravely. No, sir. I said Shell fought bravely on the beach. Of course. Shell died against the wall. And yet, he talked to Colonel Foreman. Shell talked? Our information is there was talk. Really? France, get me the latest report from our man in British intelligence, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, Colonel. Congratulations, Colonel. My compliments to the efficiency of your organization. But how else was I to... to return to your command? Thank you, Ma. Your first duty will be to follow the instructions of Colonel Foreman. You want me to murder her? Morphine has made her useless to us. You will invite Fräulein Doctor to dinner, and you will order champagne. The sinking of the Hampshire has given you a new bloom. You think so? Shall we go? Thank you, Frida. Guten Abend, Fräulein. Aim! Fire! <laughs> they are the heroes of the war. They die falling in flames. Ha! 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 We are the villains and we die appropriately. However, we live better. Well, as villains. Let's celebrate. Your champagne, sir. Yeah. Our very rarest vintage. Mm. Thank you. Not a grape of this wine will ever grow again. Our guns have struck the roots, and our gas has blighted the leaf. We have made this wine very, very rare. How thoughtful of you to order it. Tell me your name. Fräulein Doctor. Do I not deserve your confidence? Charming place, isn't it? I know you think I'm corrupt. But you, you have gone beyond anyone in conceiving new and 
horrible ways of waging war. It's my duty and my love for my country. But now I know this has almost consumed you. And you know it too. What do you mean by that? Because I've watched you. And I've seen a terrible loneliness. But what is most important, you've allowed me to see it. It's your imagination, Maya. You know that's not true. Because I've seen that loneliness. And it has made me love you. And, and, and give me hope. Nobody could love me. We have a right to leave this place. Please. Please come with me now. We have no obligation. We could leave immediately for Switzerland. And then I'd be responsible for you being a coward. You must finish your work. Come, give me your champagne. drink to you. And I thank you. I forgot my purse. Cover her face. Patriotism is always well rewarded. Gottes Acker, dass er wieder zur Erde werde, davon er genommen ist. Erde zur Erde, Asche zur Asche, Staub zum Staube. Wir befehlen unsere Schwester in Gottes Hand. Jesus Christus wird sie auferwecken am jüngsten Tage. Er sei ihr gnädig im Gericht und helfe ihr auf zu seinem ewigen Reich. Fräulein Doktor is buried. Now you go back and collect. entrance to Belgian High Command. These two figures represent guards that are always on duty. Everything is reproduced exact scale. Staff Sergeant, dispatch riders sit here, photographs of the actual chateau, three sentries.
This is Perron's office. British and French intelligence have swallowed your death, so no one will be watching for you. You will be able to act freely again. Where are the volunteers? Bring them in. We have weeded them down to nine. They all have fluency in Flemish and French. I'm afraid you're obviously a German boy. Sorry. Thank you, Herr Leutnant. Walk to the window, please. It's almost imperceptible, but the Belgians loiter a little in their walk. I'm sorry. We need only four. You are all men of courage and patriotism. Downstairs, a team of doctors is waiting for you. Their orders are to prepare your dead bodies for a second use. Which of you will still volunteer? You may go. Yes, you may go. You are dismissed. Your names? Lieutenant Hans Rupert. Lieutenant Ernst Weikert. Lieutenant Wilhelm von Oberdorf. Lieutenant Otto Latimer. Why did you not volunteer, Lieutenant Oberdorf? I did not volunteer because I think that to go blindly to my death, not knowing the purpose, a stupid and pointless thing to do. And you, Lieutenant? I knew, Fraulein. You did not want a dead man to speak Flemish. Please sit down. On the 21st of next May, General Ludendorff will launch the greatest offensive of the war to break the enemy before the new American armies arrive. On the second day of the offensive, your duty will be to enter Belgian headquarters dressed in Belgian uniform. One of you will come into this room, open that safe, and copy what he will find there. The plans for the strategic defense of the Western Front. Fräulein Doctor's duty will be to oblige General Perron to leave this room for 20 minutes that will be bought at great expense and may cost you your lives, which are, of course, donated free. Meanwhile, you will learn to walk this house blindfold. Count your money. I'm sure you English are honest. Did you see her face? I saw her dead on a trolley, under a sheet. They pulled back the sheet, I saw her face. Dead. But you ought to have contrived to see her in her coffin. Look, Colonel, everyone, the French, the Germans, the Belgians, know that Fraulein Doctor is dead. Yes. But there's something, something not properly tied. Or tied too tight. I'm not sure which. I saw her dead on a trolley. Not breathing, not moving. Dead. I want to be informed of every enterprise, sign or suspicion of enterprise that German intelligence undertakes in Europe. Nothing is too small or unimportant. Just a minute, now. I want to see all intercepted consular and diplomatic reports day and night. Now, is that clearly understood? Your Excellency, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of my country, Chile, to present to you our esteemed citizen, Dona Lucia de Velasco. Dona Lucia, the Belgian ambassador. Thank you, Senior Ambassador. Welcome to Madrid, Dona Lucia. How extraordinarily kind and generous of you to provide Belgium with a Red Cross train and your gracious self to administer it. It's a pleasure. Ah, Donna Lucia, the president of the Spanish Red Cross, the Duke of Castellana, you will excuse me. Senor Ambassador, come, my dear. Meet the ladies who will go with you. 
First of all, our beloved Marquesa de Var, who has trained and selected your staff. I assure you, Dona Lucia, it's been a labor of devotion. Thank you, Marquesa. Dona Elena de Rivas, who has a degree in medicine. Dona Lucia, for the first time, I will put it to its proper use. We are very grateful. Charming girl. Very. Senoritas Julia de Alvareda and Clara de Castilla. I knew your cousin at the Lycée in Paris. And her photographs of you do not do you justice. It's very kind of you to say so. General Perron has telegraphed to say that he must thank you in person for your generosity. I will be honored, Ambassador, to receive General Perron when we approach the front. Just a tiny straw to clutch out of the wind. But what does it mean? What does what mean? A large amount of money has been transferred from Berlin to Madrid via Zurich. They're buying up Spanish onions. Colonel Mathesius' signature was on the order. Stuart, make out three travel warrants. Spain, sir? No. In a neutral country, I have no power. It must be France. We'll try the border. Ask me to remind you at five to nine of the morphine class, Dr. Lucia. Thank you. You may go. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm delighted with the progress you have made. And now Donna Eleanor will discuss the use of morphine. Morphine can be the only mercy you can give. What you will see has nothing to do with quiet death in a hospital ward. The horrors of modern war are beyond imagination. Cries, the coughing, the pain. Men will be brought to you with gaps in their bodies. And you can only give them this. All these ladies on board and nothing suspicious about any of them. Impeccable families, everyone. Marquesa de Vara, de Rivas, de Lara, de Velasco, Castellana, Alvarita. Every name a castle in Spain. The French frontier. We now are really in the war. We 
What's happened? Nothing. Passport inspection. Everybody off. Yes, yes, we're ready. Marquesa de Varo. Thank you. S'il vous plaît, monsieur. Muchas gracias, señor. Merci, madame. If you please, senora. I'd like to see that passport. Thank you. May I have my passport, please? You may, madame. Don Alessio de Velasco. Forgive these formalities. France, not only Belgium, is grateful to you. Thank you. I have a feeling that we've seen Fräulein Doctor tonight. You're raising the dead. How long do you think we stay here? I don't know, madam. Go to the train, ladies. I'll take care of everything.
Would you take this man to the hospital train, please? He hasn't come in yet. I'll wait. Can you help me find Colonel Delvaux? The information desk is down at the end of the hall, sir. Thank you. Yes. General Perone has arrived. We must hurry through the formalities and get back to work. You'll be all right now, men. You'll soon see your families again. We've held the Bosch. You'll be going home soon. Here's the one that'll go home soon. Excuse me. Good day, madame. Even the darkest day has its graces and its lights. And I cannot pretend on you, Lucia, that the day is not dark. The Bosch is pressing everywhere. So far, we've had luck with the wind. If it shifts, they lose gas. Can't say I blame them. They've been getting hours all night. Back and forth, back and forth. Ah, the flowers of Spain. Oh, it is a pity I can't stay. General Perone. How very nice of you to visit us here. Will you join us for a glass of wine, General? In here. Oh, just a sip, don't you, Lucia? Thank you. Our ambassador in Madrid, old, old friend of mine, 
ordered me flatly, without yea or nay, to see to it that you got here. He knew the old devil what a pleasure he had up his sleeve for me. <laughs> but a soldier must beware of capture. And just at the moment, I'm in considerable danger. <laughs> oh, you will inspect the train, Jen. The sound of those guns tells me that I must go, don't you, Lucia? You wanted to see me, Lieutenant? When my company commander heard I was passing this way, he asked me to give you his regard, sir. Captain Leopold Perrier. Ah, how is he? How's that leg of his, lucky fellow? Come in. He'll be out of the hospital next week, sir. I'm delighted. Is there anything I can do for you? Thank you, sir. But I'm going back to the front. We're expecting gas. You know that. Goodbye. Good luck. Attention, General Parrot. Lieutenant. A lieutenant. Major. You're on your way back to the front? I am, sir. Colonel, one of your officers is here. He'd be glad of some transport. One of my fellows? Never saw him before in my life. Close all the exits. Guard! Guard! Captain. They've no chance now. Who the devil are they, anyway? Bosch saboteurs. Give up! We don't want to kill you! Draw them further from the gate. Goodbye. I'm going to try. It's only the first. Did you see the health of them? We're tired. The Bosch and us, we've grown old fighting. But them, six foot boys. Achtung! Hold your fire! 
It's Rupert. God help them. We can't. It's time to leave. No, not yet. Oh, but the train is full. What does it mean? I don't know. Their reserves here, here, here. Strike them. Their reserves must be bombarded to destruction. The new gas will be given to them here at 11 o'clock. The French did not dare to use this gas, but we dare. It will clear them like rats. Attack! Jawohl! Alles verstanden! Jawohl! Ja! Befehl Oberkommander meldet! Bringen! Frontalangriff! Ja! Mines behind the lines. Yes. The ammunition dumps. The Bosch have trapped us. Guns have cut us off. We're done for. Gas 
orders from the high command. The train must leave immediately. They have smashed our front line. I'm afraid we must leave the wounded. Everybody on the train! <coughs> get on the train, ladies! Get on the train! Board the train, ladies! Hurry! Hurry! Everybody on the train! Hurry up! Hurry up! Move! Move! Come on, get in there! Get in, you! She's all right. She just got on the train.
Fräulein Doktor. Meyer. Identify her. It's not her. Touch her face. This time, make sure that she's not dead. This is ridiculous. You paid me, I killed her. Very foolishly, you're protecting your money with your life. Fräulein Doctor, you will return to England in my charge. There you will stand trial. And if you're found guilty, you must be well aware of the penalty. You are mistaken. I don't intend to go. I'm sorry, but you're a German agent. You must come with me. Doctor, His Excellency General von Ludendorff wishes to present his compliments. Ha <laughs> ha! 